Hi everyone, welcome to another iPhone app review. Today we're taking a look at Armored Warfare. So, essentially with Armored Warfare, first you're going to pick three vehicles for your side. And by the way, you can either play against someone else or against uh, the CPU. So we'll just go ahead and pick three uh, different vehicles here. It's kind of strange that you also pick the three vehicles that the, the CPU will use as well, if that's your opponent. So basically we're on this, this 3D landscape, which looks great by the way, and we're attempting to uh, shoot the enemy's vehicles before they can shoot ours. They're on one side of the ridge, we're on the other, and there's basically a little valley in it. So what you're going to do, first of all, the CPU always starts first. It's kind of like uh, tic-tac-toe, that's the advantage. And there you'll see that's the first shot from the CPU. Now, you get two lines above each vehicle, and you move one vehicle at a time, one vehicle per turn, so it rotates through your three vehicles. Now, above the vehicle, you'll see a green line and a white line. The white line indicates how much more energy or time you have to move the vehicle. You can only move so much before you have to fire the cannon or rocket launcher or whatever your vehicle's weapon might be. So you position your uh, tank where you want it, and then at the bottom of the screen, you're going to see uh, a couple different buttons here. Basically, what you do next is you want to adjust the, uh, the firing as far as what direction you're firing, the angle, how high you want the, the turret to be for firing, and then you're going to press fire, and the longer you hold down fire, uh, that's going to be more energy for the shot. So it's a little bit of a physics game as well. Now, there are some quirks when you're looking at the graphics. Like I said, they do look great. But overall, there's just some issues with the game that feel a little rough around the edges. Plus, there's not a whole lot of explanation as to what the different buttons do and how you adjust your, your power and everything. It's kind of trial and error. Or you find a video like this, I suppose. It's better in concept than execution, but with some tweaks and uh, making it a little bit clearer how to control your tanks and shoot and all that good stuff, uh, and some clearing up some graphics issues with when you, you can't quite see what's going on around you. Um, it could be a really compelling game, but as it is right now, you might want to wait for an update to Armored Warfare for the iPhone and iPod Touch. For the TheDigitalLifestyle.tv, I'm Ryan Ritchie.